Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Scotland. And right now we are helping France in their war against Austria. It's like the... Uh, it doesn't have a number. I think it's... this is the third... Franco-Austrian War. And then France is attacked. Um, Lorraine as well. Um, before that, which dragged us into war against basically the same group of people. I guess Austria wasn't in that one. But I think this is the third war where we fought directly against Austria. An account of French aggression. And we're trying to spare a manpower pool. Okay, so Kong has turned Catholic. That's not something you see every day. wonder how that happened. Okay, so Portugal conquered some stuff. They had this. Yeah, so Portugal had a lot of this. Should have paid closer attention to that. Be interesting to see what happened down there. Actually, we can find out. Do we care? Yeah, I think we care. Set a timeline, and we're going to do it on uh, fast speed. I just want to watch what uh, what's going on down here. This Portuguese are here. They landed here. They're calling us. Shanti popped up. Portuguese took that over. Took over Kong. Converted it, clearly. Yeah, and then they got wrecked. Tried to push up a little bit further north. Lost that again. I didn't even notice that Portugal had one up here. That just looked like it was part of Mossy. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, carrying on. I wish they gave us better mission choices. Now, of course, Portugal. Probably having to do with this. I've already got two. Oh, it's two barely started. Thought they'd finished the first one and we're starting on that second one. A pretty car prestige. Is that the League War? Let's take a look. So, yeah, they're in the League War. And the Protestants are winning for the moment. No. We just lost our prestige for the rest of the game modifier. Do we want to hire a new guy for free here? I think that makes sense. I 
He's really good. Okay, so Spanish Navy is taking a beating up here to these Dutch miners. Okay, 50 admin, 50 diplo, 50. Let's go for military power. Uh, let's see if the French still are claiming all this. Oh, they're no longer claiming Holland. So we could hope that they're going to give that to us. Put a little bit more pressure. Just gonna leave behind the cavalry for the moment. Once they've captured it, we'll push them forward. Now we've got a little bit of manpower. This guy's actually draining our manpower. We should split this army up. Put it in half and send this half back. Okay, so we got nothing out of that. Damn you, France. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that for the moment. Manpower reserves need to recover. Let's try to save up some cash here for our institution. Well, they've expanded a little bit. Good for them. And improve these relations because they have suffered and they flip to reform, so that's a fragile alliance if we don't have high trust. suffering any attrition we'll slowly get more men back into here and they moved avoid um, death at our hands okay producing fur down here that's good or here I guess um, how close are we to this? I don't think it's going to take us too much longer. So I'm going to save these points unless we get to our cap. Why don't we actually develop just a little bit there because the manpower is pretty low. Just keep an eye on this league war. I want the Catholics to win, honestly. Because there aren't a whole lot of Catholics left in the Empire. Looks like Austria is favored, though. But they might get flipped over if they don't become the emperor. Uh, 
understand them. Okay, so Spain, Russia, the Ottomans, and Hungary. Hungary is getting beat up, though, so they're in pretty bad shape, I would imagine. Don't like seeing Commonwealth getting beaten up too much. They are on the Protestant side, so... I do want them to get kicked out of the war, I just don't want them to lose any territory in the process. Let's see if we could try supporting an heir. And obviously this cycle, we're so far behind that it's not going to happen. You know, this guy's 70, so hopefully I'll flip and then we'll be competitive for the next cycle. And we're just saving up cash. We're not going to get any buildings or anything yet, because we need to get our institution. Yorkshire's pretty respectable development. 16. That'll drop the cost. Gain 10 influence and lose three mercantilism. I mean, that's lose-lose. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I mean, just a question of how long it's going to take them to get positive relations again. Spanish particulars. Yeah, I'm not sure where they were. And seven. How much do you like us? We could work on those relations. Okay, 851. And let's go ahead and stop paying these forts. Yeah, it would be really nice if we could develop here. We would save a lot of money. Okay, do we want to do military points? Really far behind on admin, so let's go for admin points. This guy's still marching around, they're still moving. Keep an eye here on this war. Okay, it looks like the Catholics are winning for the moment. And it looks like Russia, Commonwealth, Ottomans, Spain, they're all still in it. Now, we're not going to spend our money and hard-earned monarch points on prestige at the moment. We could beat up on natives for that. Ignore that. Let's see if there's any opportunities. Yeah, there's this one. So they did reform. So do we have a claim on you? We do not. Let's get one. I'm aware that our mission is to recover manpower. Okay, before we embrace this, let's see if there's anywhere that 
is really close. No. So we're just going to embrace it. Okay, now it shouldn't be too long for us to catch up. Let's keep an eye on our time. 15 minutes in. Just need to keep an eye on our real lifetime because I have some obligations coming up. I'm surprised that no one has sieged out Otten's capital. That would have been one of my first targets if I was involved in this fight. Okay, yeah, we don't care too much about that. I'm just hoping that these guys have some cash for us. Portuguese have started a second colony. Did they finish the first one? They did. Yes, they definitely have a bit of an advantage over us. But once we finish with this other one, these should finish about the same time. So we'll have that one, and then we'll start up two more so we can get the three going. Their influence was supposed to drop a little bit more. Okay. I really don't want to get this higher because it would only get us up to 70. I'm just going to demand the points there. Yeah, that works. Give us mercantilism and make our burgers a little bit more loyal. I can live with that. Lost our conquistador. Unfortunate because he had good pips. Now let's get this army down here. Okay, so the French are violating the treaty now. Shame on them. Okay, we can get admin points. Diplo or military, we'll go for admin. Do we want to get caught up there? Okay, so that gave I gave the Protestant League, at least the Catholic members in there, a bonus in morale and several other things. Now that Ragusa is getting even larger. Gets more admin points. I guess we'll go for the Northwest Pacific. And I don't see anyone else that we need to start fabricating on at the moment. Oh, we've got truce. How long is that truce? Basically another year. 
Well, shucks. Seven hundred. It's in proof relations here. Okay, so the next institution is going to be global trade. And that one we might be competitive for. Now, the English Channel is not that wealthy. Wow. She knows it's got a lot more. I thought with all the New World going into our stuff. The English Channel would be wealthier than it is. It's clearly not the case. And let's start getting some more trade ships. Now, uh, one of the problems is that our burgers have low loyalty. That's hurting our trade power. And it's still that 73 year old. And by the time this guy's done with his job, we should be able to invade here. And they shouldn't be able to migrate. Ooh, they got four. Yeah, they're going to beat us over here. Well, that is unfortunate. Let's take the cheapo guy. We don't have much spare cash. We should be saving up money to start building a bunch of trade buildings all throughout Great Britain. Or all throughout the British Isles, however you want to think of it. We don't have, let's see, yearly prestige. Now yeah, we're going for admin points. Uh, we don't have a military leader here, but we shouldn't need one. Yeah, didn't think so. Just our troop advantage was so great. Okay, looks like Catholics are winning for the moment. But really, if the Ottomans or Commonwealth leave, then that could really throw the fight one way or the other. Do we want more? Let's at least get up to 32, so it's a nice round number. And then we'll start saving up for trade buildings. And Florian, nice. Oh, we still haven't gotten our legitimacy up. Heck. Austria slandered our merchants. Okay, give us money. Definitely want money. 
But more than that, guys. Okay, we're gonna have to transport those guys across by ship. We can't pass through Portuguese territory freely. So that'll be three. One complete and two more under construction. They have one complete and three under construction. But I think they're going to finish before we do. We're finally ahead of time on military tech again. Not great choices. Go ahead and send these guys around. And whom do we want to improve relations? Are all the electors non-Catholic? Yeah, that's the only Catholic elector, so we're going to try improving relations with them. If the Catholic Catholics win. Yeah. Then potentially we can snag that vote. Because there aren't going to be very many electors if the Catholics win. These guys moved next to us, so I want to fabricate on them and invade. The Ottomans. Okay, so there's our second. Third in about four months. And let's start trying to get some more trade power here. So is there anywhere ideal? No, we've got any like natural harbors or anything like that. So I guess we'll just do Kent. Their war score took a big hit. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe a series of lost battles or something. With the admin points. And let's explore Northwest Pacific. So it looks like this is largely actually similar. There's no Hawaii. We have like the Marshall Islands. Some of that stuff. Nauru and EG and so on. And what else can we see here? Yeah, I don't think there was any fantasy elements. Okay, Chi Chi. 
Could potentially invade them. Let's see how much cash they have. Only 64 ducats. Let's see who has the most. The back Tyrol. Yeah, Tyrol's got tons. No. And the Southeast Africans have quite a bit. Vinland. There we are. Where are you guys? There is a Vinland up here. Awesome. And they're high American. Okay, so that's our fantasy element. Now, if we were fetishists, we could get a cult off of them. I really want to vassalize them and turn them into a march. Yeah, let's pull this guy back. I get them as a protectorate. Eventually they'll break free because protectorates are kind of broken in this current patch, but still, I mean, come on. It's Vinland with Norse religion. We're 31 minutes in, so I'm going to stop here and take a break. Thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play with EU4, of EU4 rather, with Red Bastard.